What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome. Thank you guys for watching. In today's video, it is going to be a first impression slash a review of the new product that's been causing sensation on Instagram since it was announced on their Instagram. And of course, it is, of course, y'all know it's Juvia's Place new foundation and I am all in for complexion. Anything that has to do with complexion, um, let that be primer, let that be foundation or concealer, I am going to be down to buying it and testing it and wearing it and see if it works because I love foundation. Like if I was to create a beauty product one day, you never know, <laughs> I would create a foundation. I know it's very hard because nowadays, um, foundations need to be like 60 different colors and and all that but i will i would work really hard to create like that perfect foundation for everybody so in today's video i want to get this introduction quickly because i don't want you guys staring at my beautiful paleness face without makeup it's going to be my thoughts like i said on this beautiful foundation that we have right here i picked it up at ulta i couldn't order it online. I couldn't wait for it to arrive. I just needed to try it. Like I wanted to really, really try it. And a lot of you that follow me on Instagram were like, Francis, your thoughts, hurry up. So I have them right here. We're gonna go through this together. So if you are new to my channel, I have to say, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Francis's 2 sesmichelle That's where you find your girl. That's where I am most of the time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, guys. So my skin is not like fully, fully prepped right now. I'm going to be using my primer, of course. But let's just talk a little bit about this foundation. Like you all know, a lot of this um, um, videos ago, um, I just wanted to... Put it out there, throw it out there. I am not in Juvia's Place PR list. Um, I always like to say this with reviews, um, even if the company sends it over and I'm like partnering with them, I tell them all the time, I, I'm not going to lose cred credibility with my viewers, with my family. I'm not doing that. Um, I'm always gonna be 110% honest with you guys um, because at the end of the day, is your money that is being put into these products. Um, it's your money that is either being wasted or is actually being um, put to good use when you buy something that you really, really like. Um, so I like to say that disclaimer, I am not partnered with Juvia's Place. They did not pay me to make this video. I'm going to give you 110 honest opinion about this product. If it's something that you should buy, if it's something that you should pass on. Um, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and start with this video. I bought one shade because when I got to the old my old when I when I got to Ulta, trust me, I think um it had been on like on this like it had been on stock for like probably like a week. So I kind of got there really really late and I wasn't able to find my perfect shade. It was either this one, a very light one, or a very dark one. So I was like ah. I normally like to buy two because I like to mix the foundation. Either it's too light or either it's too dark. So I couldn't do that because, like I said, the one before this one was like really, really light. And the other one to this one was really, really, really dark. So I was like, that is not going to work. So let's just go ahead. Um, you already know the deal with um, Juvia's foundation. Uh, okay. So you already know uh, information about the Juvia's Place. Um, it is called I Am Magic Foundation. It is a velvety matte foundation. Supposedly, it is a full coverage foundation, and they has they have four different undertones. So I thought that was great. Um, the variety of color that they have is amazing. So I feel like everybody, everybody can find a shade for them in this foundation, especially me, where I am either like really pale or like a little bit of color because like I need to tan. So it says it's a full cars foundation that melts into your skin while giving you a radiant and velvety matte finish. Um, it says made in Italy with top of the line ingredients and technology. Uh, it is cruelty free, vegan free, oil free, paraben free, and um, it gives you from your darkest complexion to very light pale complexion. That will be me right now. And I think... I think there's um, there's 42 shades, so I thought that was amazing. So this is what the packaging looks like. You already seen it here on 
on Instagram or here on YouTube and it's a very nice little um, tube that looks like a font like, it looks for to me it looks like a like a nice um like lotion I have a lotion that is this size and I carry it in my purse um, it is said to be a 30, um, I'm sorry, a 1.4 ounce, so it's a one ounce foundation. Um, I've heard a little bit goes a long way, so kind of gives you a little bit of, um, like it lasts for a while. Um, it's 20 bucks. I just feel like for the price, you have like very little, little product here, honestly speaking. All right, so um, I just feel like $20 for this little bottle was a little bit too much, especially if you find it at Ulta, especially if you find it at a drugstore um, kind of like feel. Um, I think this is the this is the most expensive drugstore foundation I have bought to date. Anyways, but let's see if it actually worth, is, worth, is worth every penny. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin. I already moisturized my skin. I'm going to go ahead and use, of course, um, a primer. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and apply. I'm going to apply it to one area of my face because that's what I like to normally do. Oh, and by the way, the shade that I'm using right now is Aruba 510. Tan. I am tan. All right, so let's just go ahead and get... I'm just going to apply a couple of drops on one side of my face. And then, as usual, we got, we'll take a... We'll take a peek. I'm going to use a beauty blender because I use a beauty blender for everything. Like all my foundations, I use beauty blender. This is a little bit dark. Yeah, probably the one before this one. Right before this one would be my perfect shade. This is a little dark, but they didn't have it. So I'm going to have to wait until it comes in stock or order it online. One of, one of both. I think I'm better off with ordering it online. Yeah, it's a little dark. It's a little too orangey for me. I'll probably, um, oh my God. Yeah, this is definitely not my shade guys, not my shade, but whatever. Let's just try it and see like the formula on it and how it sits and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. And then we'll make it work. It's too yellow for me, way too yellow for me, as you guys can see the difference. Um, they didn't have my right shade, so I'm not going to do anything about it. So let me just give you guys my thoughts on it, on this side right now. Wow, okay. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, you can see that it covers everything definitely covers a lot it dries very quickly and it's not heavy guys it's not a heavy cakey foundation given the fact that it is let me just cover this right here because it looks kind of weird given the fact given the fact that it is a full coverage foundation um it does not feel heavy at all on the skin as you can see it covered i have um I have a scar right here. You can see it very minimum, to be honest. Um, if it was my perfect shade, I will say I am in love. I like the texture. It's not a matte, like full on matte. Like I've been using the LA Girl Pro Glow, um, the, LA Girl, the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. And it dries really fast and it's just very matte super matte and you can feel that it's a little bit heavy because it is a full coverage matte foundation but this one right here right now um it feels very very lightweight it feels like i barely have any makeup on it was very easy to blend guys and the coverage on it like look at that i know i look weird without my eyebrows thin Let's just focus on the coverage, guys. I'm going to give you a, my, like, raw opinion on this. Look at this. Like, look at my skin, how I have, like, red spots and I have freckles. And you can barely see it on this side. I love it. I love the finish, too. It's not full-on matte finish, but 
it still has that matte finish. It does have that velvety finish to it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna order my right shade and I feel like this foundation has the potential to become one of my favorite foundations. Like I'm not, I'm not even lying. I'm gonna see if I can make it work with probably a little bit of powder and whatnot. And um, I mean, with the neck, it kind of matches to be honest. Like I'm looking at it right here on my mirror and with my neck and the way that my um, tan is going, it kind of looks like a little bit similar to it. So I'm going to try to make it work um, right now with a little bit of powder and whatnot. And then I'm going to let you guys know how um, everything feels on the skin. Because I like to, when I try a foundation, I like to see how my bronzer and my concealer and my highlight and my powder mix together. Because sometimes they kind of don't blend. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward to my full face. And then I'll give you my thoughts on it um, and how it sits. And then we'll go to the last part, which is testing it out and giving you guys my opinion um, with a full face of wear. And I'm actually going to be shooting out today. I have a photo shoot that I have to shoot for. So I will be putting this foundation to the test of like a long time. It doesn't say like it's, it doesn't say like it's a long wear foundation. It just says it's a velvety matte foundation. I don't see that it says it's a long wear. It doesn't give me like long wear foundation. So let's see how long it lasts on my skin with Florida heat without having to retouch. So yeah, let's fast forward to my face being done and I'm giving you guys a little bit more info on it. All right guys, so face is completely done. I already beat my face. I already did everything. I put a little bit of powder though. I did set my foundation with a lot of powder uh, because like I said, I wanna see how it sits. But see, I made it work. I kind of put a little bit of powder um, to kind of even everything in like with my neck and my arms. So everything looks, um, pretty much even like I said it's not my um ideal shade but I made it work I did like I said I powder all the yads and all that good stuff um and then I put my bronzer I put a little bit of highlight and then of course I did my face so I like to do this um when I'm testing out foundations because um sometimes I feel like the foundation kind of doesn't mix very well with either my bronzer or my or my powder and sometimes it's just Building all of that on top of the foundation just kind of makes it more cakey and it makes it just doesn't make it like pleasing. So I like to test my foundations with everything because I don't wear foundation by themselves. I wear foundation with pretty much um, powder, uh, concealer, of course, um, my bronzer, my contour, my highlight and all the yes. So it is um, my Apple Watch died. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. And like I said, I have to go out and do some shoots in this Florida weather, in this Florida heat. And I'm going to see how everything just kind of sits together and just kind of um, tell you guys my thoughts. So let's go ahead and jump into the end of this video. All right, guys, so this is the last. Um, I've been using this foundation all day. It's 9 o'clock, so I've been using it for 8 hours. And I have been, had to retouch my face at all. Everything is still in its place. Everything is there. Everything looks great. I absolutely love everything on my face. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this foundation, guys. I really don't. I was out shooting. I sweat a little bit and it was kind of hot, humid outside, and everything has literally just stayed in its place, like, like, for real, like, I'm not joking. It is really, really good. I feel like this has the potential to be a really, really good, good foundation. Um, again, I didn't see that it was long-lasting, but it literally lasted, like, eight hours, guys. Like, I am, I'm loving this foundation as of right now. Nothing bad to say about it. Well, guys, thank you, much, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this type of video, do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. Have you picked up the foundation? Are you going to pick it up? Um, did you pick it up and tried it? What were your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know what your thoughts are on this foundation. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. And don't forget to follow your girl on IG, francis 2 Michelle. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.